YouTube, Michelle Media here with my little furry baby, Stravieso. He's my Sammy's kitty. We're here to let you know that I've done my first walkthrough for my channel this weekend. And as a matter of fact, I want you to grab a wonderful beverage that you can relax to and uh, stay tuned for a few minutes worth of a wonderful Dollar Tree walkthrough and join me back here for the haul that I've got for you that you do not want to miss. So see you in a few.
guys, I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now we are going to dive into what I actually bought. Now, I, before we start, I do want to tell you that a few of you have been giving me wonderful feedback, letting me know what you want to see. And um, I got some um, uh, suggestions for showing uh, stationery, the whole school supply aisle, some books, what have you. Now, uh, the store that has recently opened near me, um, they do have a good amount of stuff on the shelves, yet there are some sections that are uh, left bare still. So I didn't bother specifically focusing on those areas that you guys have been giving me feedback for. I'm going to wait till next week uh, where the shelves are more full and I'll be able to have more content for you. Okay, so I did touch on it, but let's dive in on what I did get. You're not going to... Uh, um, you're not gonna miss out on anything because, um, you know, what I do have is fabulous, okay? So let's get going here. Now, I found these trolls, guys, these little troll figurines, okay? This one here, um, uh, it says uh, Tiny Diamond. This is Branch, Tiny Diamond. You can see it. And here's the other one, Branch. And then here is Poppy, the little girl troll. Isn't she pretty? Now, these are really popular. There were hardly any up on the racks, on the pegs. So I suggest you grab them immediately if you like those. Okay, the next thing I got were these Peppa Pig. They finally had the Peppa Pig figurines in the toy section. Okay, I got three of them here. This is the one in the blue dress. Isn't she cute? And here's the one in the yellow. And here's the one in the red. Aren't they just wonderful? So these also are popular items, so if you don't want to miss out, I suggest you keep on it and uh, check into your local Dollar Trees and grab them while you can. These are wonderful. Oh, and they did have them in a smaller size. I grabbed some of those as well uh, for gifts um, because I know the kids will love them, okay? So grab those all you can. Alrighty, now I want to show you some wonderful samples of what I got. These tiny, kind of semi-translucent uh, My Little Pony figurines in all kinds of colors. This is the yellow one. Okay, she is just adorable. This is the clear one. Now, I don't know if you can see them all that well, but that is cool. And here's the blue. These are tiny. These are probably a bit over an inch. But still, they're very, very cute. Here's the orange. That is just so cute. And pink. And this is the purple. Now, aren't those fabulous? Um, I have not yet uh, scrolled through the internet to see what type of DIYs are being done with those, but you can make earrings out of them. Very simple. Um, necklaces, anything, just about anything. Make a keychain, make a uh, purse fob, whatever you want. I mean, they have so many. Now, I got this Mardi Gras style um, necklace with silver beads and a rainbow. These are just fabulous for the summer, Pride Week, or if you just like rainbows or collect rainbows. So, I did get some extras of these, so if you're interested in these and you don't have them at your store, feel free to contact me, okay? Because um, I did pick up a few because I knew, you know, people would be inquiring about them. So, don't feel afraid to uh, contact me about these. They're pretty sturdy, pretty thick plastic. They're not bendable and they're not all that cheap, you know, <laughs> like some of the other ones that you find in different stores. But these are pretty good quality. So I like those. Okay, next we got this Do Vinci made by Play-Doh. It's kind of a, an automatic. It doesn't run on batteries or electricity or anything. It's a, um, a uh, 
Play-Doh brand gun that you can do artwork with. It comes with two bottles. This one in particular has kind of like a uh, teal and a fluorescent yellow. And it's an automatic gun that you put in there. It comes with sheets of paper and you do artwork with it. You just squeeze it out, kind of like you would a glue gun. And I don't know how much these are. I haven't looked them up on the internet, but I'm sure they're a lot more than a dollar at the other store. So grab these. I grabbed a couple of them for gifts. Okay. And let's see what else. Oh, I meant to uh, haul this in uh, the last video, but I forgot. These are the uh, solar stakes, the sunflowers. Now they do have flamingos and other ones, and these seem to be the most popular ones. They go very, very fast, more so than the others. So I grabbed quite a few of these to line my driveway with. And I'm gonna see how they turn out. I'm putting them uh, in the ground tomorrow. So aren't they just fabulous? Oh, I can't wait to see those lit up. Also, I wanted to do a lime themed gift basket pretty soon here. So, I found these um, fragrance sachets that are in coconut and lime fragrance. Oh, they smell, oh, they smell divine. They're so great. You guys, I'm sure if you like coconut and lime, you would like these. These don't have that scent that makes your head hurt or sinuses. Oh, you would absolutely love that. So I got those and I also got a pair of socks with lime on it. I'm going to do a special uh, haul video uh, pertaining to socks um, pretty soon and I'm thinking of putting together a lime themed basket in that haul so stay tuned for that now I got this soap bar by Yardley as well and it is in um, cream pumpkin cream and cinnamon with amorous oil oh it smells pretty darn good very good it's not overpowering but it smells so good so i'm i'm curious to know how it leaves a scent on your skin so let's try that in the next few days and report back to you this here is a uh, shelf surface sitter with home in it with the galvanized letters and a little wreath isn't that cute now, a lot of people uh, recommend to take them apart for DIY stuff. When I find stuff like this, I like to leave them as is, maybe add to it, but I don't really like to take stuff apart. But it is so cute on its own, put it together with some other stuff on a shelf or on a table. Isn't that cute? I love the little wreath on that. Okay, the next thing we got are these lanterns. Some of you guys have been hauling these. Now, I've been lucky to find mine this weekend. The only <laughs> colors they had left though were this light teal seafoam color, but I don't know if the camera will catch up, but yes, this is the little flame, the LED flame. They can, you can paint it if it doesn't come in the color that you want, whatever your color you find. You can always paint it white, black, whatever, you know, a brown, stain it a brown. I love those, so I got a few of those. And I also got the hanging light bulb lanterns. Aren't those cute? Now let's see if this one will work. Yeah, got the little uh, fairy lights inside the bulb. Is that not cute, guys? I, I think I got like four of these maybe. Isn't that cute? You can hang them or make a lamp, uh, uh, combine it with other uh, DIY Dollar Tree items and make a lamp out of it. Had to have it. Okay. Now, um, I did find these um, LED photo clip string lights. I guess they're a string of lights that have clips on them that you can string across maybe a mantle alongside a wall or something. And you can clip your photos on there. Let me take it out of the package to show you guys. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Basically, it's just a string of lights. 
and you attach these little clips across it. That's basically what it is. It's like the little fairy lights that uh, you guys may have already hauled and you just attach these little clear um, clothespins on and then hang your uh, pictures across. So basically, you know what that is. But anyway, those were cute. And let's see. Oh, what else do we have here? I think we have one more item here. I found some Buddha. Incense holders. I don't have one an incense with me, but I, I got it in white. They had it in black and also in like a cement color. There's where you place the incense stick. Isn't that cute? So this is kind of like a ceramic chalkware type. It is smooth. It's not as rough as a chalkware, but nevertheless, look how cute. You can paint this as well, but I got white because I think it goes with everything, no matter where you put it. So guys, that is it for today's haul. And I will have another wonderful haul for you in a couple of days. And be sure you stick around for that. But comment below and let me know what you want me to look out for or uh, what type of DIYs you're doing, anything. I'd love to hear from you. And make sure you subscribe, okay? That way you'll know when I upload new videos. I appreciate you coming by. And remember, if you recommend my page to anybody else, I want to give you a heartfelt thank you. Your support means so much to me. So until next time, let's see my little guy here, Travieso, and myself want to say goodbye. Bye, YouTube. See you later.